like you an extremely disappointing afternoon just from a player's perspective give us your thoughts on that one um, shambles to be honest if you want me to be perfect on this it's no way near good enough hasn't been good enough for the last week um, yes we beat Burton but that's long gone now we, we, you know you can't just finish a season after beating a League One team in the FA Cup we've had three games since then and been absolutely run over and it's not good enough the performance today and probably for the last week has not been up to the, the standards and that Peter would expect what the players would expect what what needs to change as a whole going into next week um, just our mentality as well um, we've got just you just got to want to win games you know I think we just you know, if you lose a game one nil or you know even today I get I get you go 2-0 down sometimes with 10 men lose it 3-0 having a go do you know what I mean let them get you on the counter at the end not you know we, we were dominated today it's not been you know, no one wants to go out there and lose, but I just think we've got to really show a little bit more now, and especially with the situation that's going on around the world with COVID and all that. We, you know, we're, you're not just you're fighting for your careers and, and your job, and you know because football's not it was a, not what it was a couple of years ago. So, you know, whatever that that bit is inside you, you know, whatever your determination is, whether you know like myself, my family, but I don't care if it's money, girls, you know, you just want to be the best you can be. But use whatever that fuel is inside you and, and, and go and succeed. It must be frustrating because there's been a pattern over the last three games where we've started brightly in the first five minutes and then it's like the first chance, first time we make a mistake, we're, we're being punished, but we shouldn't be making those mistakes, I guess. Yeah, and to be fair, I mean, the first goal, the geezer's hit a great goal. And, and you know, when the, when you look in, he probably hits it over the stand, but this, there's 80 minutes left, you know. And I think it's just a case of, you know, we've got to get, get ourselves together and, and pull each other together and... You know, not dig each other out on the pitch where you know because like I've said before the changing room is unbelievable it's, it's, it's a great changing room but you know when you have that white line nothing's personal you've got to want to win and to just demand more more of each other and um, just just come off here sweating and blowing and yeah you know it's, it's I'm just I'm just really disappointed you know it's it's um, it's not nice to let goals in and it's uh, don't want to dwell it too much we've we, <laughs> I know people don't want to hear it and the fans want to hear it. The only thing we can do is, is put it right, but we, we have to put it right. No, no, we have to put it right as players and, and that's what we've got to do. Yeah, so just lastly, Tuesday night, Hart Port Homie, it's going to be a tough game because they're in a decent decent patch at the moment. But how much is it about what we produce now and our, our mentality to try and react from what's been a, a pretty horrid week results-wise? Well, Hartlepool, Kings Lynn, no disrespect, but it doesn't matter who you play in this league, it's a tough league now. Um, you're not going to get any easy games. Um, so we need to wake up a bit. Um, first of all, just put a performance in. You know, kind of. T- if we if we lose, you lose, but you have a go. Do you know what I mean? You, you, your Man City's and your Liverpool's lose games, but I can guarantee they come off that pitch working hard. Do you know what I mean? And that's and that's what we've got to do. We, we've got to turn it around quickly. We're lucky in a way that the season's only seven games in. We've still got you know we've got a good cup tie coming up, which we all should be fighting for places for, because you know Tuesday's the last game before, and we all want to play in that on the telly. And, there's still a lot of football to be played.